My name is Kyle Davis, and I'm in a class called Video Communications. This is a vocational class where they teach us about camera work, editing, graphics, and such things like that that go together for TV production. Now, if in case you're wondering, this is a memorial for Mark Fair, who was a longtime member in this class. He had taken it four times, and he was going to take it a fifth time. He was involved in was from last year. It's a comedy piece called Neely Takes Over the World. So I'll show you some limited footage from that. The world will be mine! <laughs> Whoa! That's heavy. What are we going to do? We need a plan. Yeah, a plan. I've got it. We hire a SWAT team to bust down the door while snipers take up position on the rooftops. Meanwhile, the SEALs can fire tear gas through the window. That's a good idea, but it would take weeks before this school could fund a mission like that. But what if we planted the virus into his integrator? It's a good idea, but where would we get the virus? My little brother's got pneumonia. Pneumonia? The P is silent. And it's a computer virus, dimwit. I've got just the man to help us. Samuel and Drayson, a.k.a. The Brain, wanted in 51 states for various counts of computer hacking and virus planting, was finally apprehended trying to purchase a pocket protector in ShopSmart. Sam, I need your help. Seeley's trying to take over the world. Really? He's probably trying to use his digital video integrator to put neurological flash impulses into the TV's gamma ray tube. What? He's trying to hypnotize people who watch your show. It's the whole world, Sam. Can he do it? Yes, he can do it, all right. We have to stop him. We thought we could crash the system with one of your viruses. That might not be a bad idea. If we put in four numbers with the proper sequence to confuse his processor, we could shut down his system. But how will we find those numbers? I talked to Sam. Nuh uh, the guy responsible for crashing a billion computers in one day? It was a billion in one. But, anyway, Sam says he can crash into the computer using four highly complex numbers and typing it into the processor. Well, but what are they? Sam calculated the numbers to be one, two, three, and four. Well, how are we going to. Mark was also involved in a mock clone commercial. Here's some raw footage. Oh, damn. Hey, you don't stink like you used to. Hey, that's because I'm not wearing that brand X. We should just take one shot. One shot with both of us top like this and have good? one. All right, is the mic in? Okay, now make sure you don't bump it. In. No, Matt, just stay in here. Man. We, we can do one. No, we should already be close to him. Man, you don't stink like you used to. That's because I don't wear that Brand X cologne no more. I'm using the real stuff, Burley. Mark was the best graphics person in the class. We all had gone to him at least once or twice for help. These are a few of the graphics he had made. And I remember Mark always sitting behind me and him and Mark Locker would always just make fun of me, just joking around. And I remember his loving smile and how him and Daryl, they were so close. And I just remember seeing them together all the time. And they were just the best of, best of friends. And I think that it was better that they both left together than one of them alone. Uh, Mark Fair was a... Uh, good student in graphics. He, he enjoyed making graphics and uh, was very creative in that way. He enjoyed mostly the behind the scenes work and uh, he'll be missed. Who's that Steve? And they're pretty tight. Mark was my friend. He 
always came into class with a smile. Tried to can me a few times, but never happened. And uh, I always liked how he would always goof around with Mark and me. And I'm gonna miss him. Mark, what you doing this for? He's got you in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs>